Hello and welcome to this EpiPen Adrenaline Auto Injector Training. This video will show you the main features of EpiPen and how to correctly administer your EpiPen. It will also teach you how to practice with your EpiPen Trainer Pen. Watch this training often in order to ensure that you are totally familiar with how your EpiPen works. Show it to your family and friends and anyone else who may need to administer your EpiPen. Try using your trainer pen when you watch this video so you know how to use your EpiPen in an emergency. This is the EpiPen Auto Injector. It comes in two strengths, EpiPen and EpiPen Junior. EpiPen is for patients weighing more than 30 kilograms, four stone nine pounds, which has a yellow label. EpiPen Junior is for patients weighing between 15 kilograms and 30 kilograms, two stone five pounds and four stone nine pounds which has a green label. Both EpiPen and EpiPen Junior work in the same way. Make sure that wherever you are, you always have your EpiPen with you. It is recommended that you carry two EpiPen with you at all times. What to look out for? The EpiPen is clearly color-coded. As you can see, the safety cap is blue and the needle cover is orange. This is so you can quickly see which end is which in an emergency. An easy way to remember this is blue to the sky and orange to the thigh. The needle sits inside the orange casing and this casing automatically covers the needle once the EpiPen has been used so that you never see the needle. The case also protects you from unintentional needle injuries following use. The viewing window lets you check that the solution is clear and colourless. It is important to check this regularly as you will need to replace your EpiPen as soon as possible if the solution becomes dark or cloudy. The viewing window also allows you to check that you have used your EpiPen correctly. When the dose of adrenaline has been injected, the window becomes darker. As you can see, there is a noticeable difference before use and after use. The instructions on the EpiPen are easy to read and clearly illustrated. This gives you or someone with you immediate access to the injection technique in an emergency situation. Your EpiPen comes in a hard carry case. You should always keep your EpiPen in the case to protect it from damage and light which can degrade the adrenaline. Using your EpiPen is easy, especially if you practice using your trainer pen. There is no need to remove clothing, but make sure the orange end will not hit buckles, zips, buttons or thick seams on your clothes. To remove EpiPen from the carry case. Flip open the lid on the carry case. Tip the carry case and slide the EpiPen out of the tube. Grasp EpiPen auto injector with thumb nearest blue cap and form fist around the unit. With the other hand, pull off the blue safety cap. Hold the EpiPen auto injector at a distance of approximately 10 centimeters away from the outer thigh. The orange tip should point towards the outer thigh. Jab the EpiPen into the outer thigh at a right angle, at a 90 degree angle. Hold firmly against thigh for 10 seconds. The injection is now complete and the window on the auto-injector is obscured. EpiPen should be removed. Massage the injection area for 10 seconds. Dial 112, ask for ambulance, state anaphylaxis. If your symptoms have not improved or have deteriorated within 5 to 15 minutes after the first injection, you may need a second EpiPen. EpiPen is designed as emergency treatment. You should always get medical help immediately after using EpiPen, even if your symptoms appear to be improving. You will need to go to hospital for observation and further treatment as required. This is because the reaction may happen again at some later time. It is important that you don't get up or move around. While waiting for the ambulance, you should lie down with your feet raised unless this makes you breathless, in which case you should sit up. Ask someone to stay with you until the ambulance arrives in case you feel unwell again. Unconscious patients should be placed on their side in the recovery position. 
You can only use your EpiPen once, so hand the used EpiPen to the paramedic. The trainer pen works in the same way as the real EpiPen, but it does not contain a needle or medicine. Notice that the trainer pen looks slightly different to the real EpiPen. The label clearly states that it is a training device, and the label is light blue in colour, while the EpiPen is yellow and EpiPen Junior is green. To use your trainer pen, simply pull out the blue safety cap, jab the orange tip firmly into the outer thigh and hold in place for 10 seconds to simulate drug delivery. Remove the trainer pen and massage the injection site for 10 seconds. To practice again, the trainer pen must be reset. To reset the trainer pen, replace the blue safety cap. Place the orange tip on a hard surface. Squeeze sides of the tip and push down. If you think you have come into contact with your allergen and start to experience severe symptoms, you should use your EpiPen immediately. In particular, watch out for the following potential reactions. Difficulty or noisy breathing. Swelling of tongue. Swelling or tightness in the throat. Wheeze or persistent cough. Loss of consciousness and or collapse. Pale and floppy in young children. And finally, Remembering these key points will help keep you safe. It is recommended that you carry two EpiPen with you. Know your symptoms and when to administer your EpiPen. Blue to the sky, orange to the thigh. Check the viewing window regularly to ensure the solution is clear and colourless. Ring 112 immediately after administering your EpiPen, even if your symptoms appear to be improving. Stay lying down or seated until you have been seen by a paramedic. Only use your EpiPen once and hand to a paramedic after use. For further information, read the patient information leaflet in your EpiPen pack or visit the EpiPen website. If you have any concerns, talk to your doctor or pharmacist.